All right, so in this lesson, we are going to go over creating a lead form. Now, this will be found at the very bottom portion of your actual ad. And obviously, it's essential. So let's dig in. We will go and create a new form. We will name it whatever we choose to, right? I like to have our team, once again, save the campaign objective if we're going for a specific um, location, a specific maybe demographic or a specific career path type. I like to have this, this there. That's just for, for me. You don't have to be crazy like I am. <laughs> so you have several options when we come to, to the very beginning portion. So the content is obviously the, the portion that we will insert, as you can see, things here, questions. There is a welcome screen that's optional. Now, as you can see here, it kind of guides you through. Very briefly describe what people will receive. You know, leave your information to talk to a licensed licensed excuse me a licensed loan officer you know what what however you want to talk to the people now just so you know as you see it's optional right now you do not have to have this first screen now if you choose not to have a welcome screen it'll just go straight into the questions when they come in as you it, it had uploaded here so watch real fast right here you see how it has their name excuse me their email and name email and name but let me go here and turn this off now it uploads this portion now you have several options within uh, the actual options to load the image and the wording that we have here so you can have the default image be the image from the ad or if you wanted something in particular, you can obviously choose to upload the image. As you can see there, it says the recommended size is 1200 by 628. So we can go through and select a home, or excuse me, an image that's 1200 by 628. As you can see, it now appears here. So whatever image you, you want to utilize there, that's where we would utilize it. That's only if you had the welcome screen. If we took the welcome screen portion off, then by default, it's going to show the actual image ad that we're utilizing for the first, um, the image that's selected first within our campaign for, uh, actual settings. Excuse me, I was gonna kind of show you the example, but if you recall, when we were loading the images, whatever image we load first will be the one that is the default. So I wanted you to clearly understand that. And within the options portion, you have several things you can do here. Now we can, you know, as you can see in our text that map tells people what your product or service is about. If you choose to leave the option, or excuse me, if you choose to have the welcome screen option, you are required to put something, whether it is a paragraph or the bullets. So you decide whatever is going to fit best, but you have to choose something if you use the welcome option screen. Then next, you will be able to select the text that goes in this button right here. So. Maybe we're going after renters. Not renting today. It's yeah. so whatever you choose. However, whatever call to action is there. You want to have, you know, don't just have it be submit. There's something, right? I, I mean, we need to engage them and push them forward. So that would cover this portion if we utilize the welcome screen. I want to go into the settings real quick. There's nothing really that we need to touch in here. So unless you are actually configuring a specific type of language and you're utilizing that form, you would do that there. Now, there are other options that you can have this uh, match up with as far as the conversions go. As you can see here, it shows the organic leads that come through. And what that means is maybe somebody seen your post and they shared it with a friend or family member that friend or family member then 
actually gives you the contact information that we're requesting. So just so you know, now the field ID portions, it takes a little technical know-how to get into this. You can customize how the actual wording appears within the boxes. I wouldn't mess with that. So let's go back to the content portion. Let's, for the sake of the example, take the welcome screen off. Let's go here and go to questions. Now, by default, as you see, the email and full name are there. You can ask all of these other things and just select, right? So phone number, if we wanted to know, you know, if, if they had a specific work email, right? Whatever we want to do, these questions will appear to the right. Let me drop and see how it removes. Now, if these questions are not enough or you want something more particular, custom question. I like to use this one. Excuse me. Right? So, right here we have the critical things. We have their first name, last name, their email address, and their phone number. In addition to finding out what is the best time to contact them. Right, I'm gonna leave it blank. As you can see here, if we had a multiple choice question, we would go through and say, answer one, answer one, enter, answer two, enter, or answer three, and then I would hit enter. Now, what happens is, as you can see here, what is the best time to contact you? They would select answer one, two, or three. That's if we had multiple choice. Since this one is not, I'm just going to leave it open and they can enter their answer accordingly. Now the privacy policy portion, you will have to have a privacy policy within your website, right? So most of the time you can go to your company's website and at the footer portion, you will notice that they actually have usually the terms of service or the privacy policy there, which helps essentially let end users know that their information is going to be safe, it's not gonna be shared, so on and so forth. So if we chose to say my companies, watch the bottom right hand side, right here, you'll see that this area changes. By default, it says view my mortgage firm's Facebook page privacy policy. Whatever your name of your uh, Facebook page is, will be this, it'll show right here. Now obviously I'm going to shorten it up. Just a privacy policy. And then I would need the URL link. So I would copy and paste that portion from here. And then from there, we go, let's just say, sorry, I was just trying to pull an example up of a client right off the top, but as you can see, normally, like I was saying, people, they have the privacy terms, things of that. So essentially we would go to the privacy page. As you can see here, this is the URL. So this URL, you would copy it, control C or command C, or you just go copy. Come back over to the actual link URL portion, place it here, and paste. That would be there. If you had a custom disclaimer and you needed some more information, by all means, you're more than welcome to insert that there. Now on the thank you screen, this was where they will submit their information. We have to give them the option when they're done filling out the form to have an option to visit a page. This can be your website. This can be your specific profile on your website. This could be a thank you page after somebody on your website fills out a form and that would be the page that they reach. This can be whatever you would like it to be, but essentially there has to be somewhere that you send them that is related to you. This is required by, by Facebook. After that, we would, sorry, I'm just moving the controls here. After that, you would hit finish. If I do it now, it's not going to obviously work. So let's just do that for an example. We would hit finish. 
or you could hit save either or because maybe you want to come back to it right you would you would save it but we'll hit finish and now that will appear here within the lead form area so don't worry about the actual preview not appearing here just know that the lead form is now already in this section now from here you can have two options if you wanted to go and maybe you're running another campaign for another type of audience or with a specific target or message that you had behind it you could do one of two things you can go and create a new form or if you wanted to to save some steps you could duplicate your current form that will literally duplicate everything that you had on the previous form i mean everything the only thing that will be different is just the actual name so as you see here it's the copy this is the example form the second one everything's the same email address your first name last name phone number best time to contact you as you notice there is no uh, welcome screen maybe you wanted to add a welcome screen right maybe we wanted to gather some different information here it's completely up to you maybe we wanted to utilize a different image here right i mean instead of having to go through and and manually recreate everything you just go with the image or excuse me go with the, the form that we just created or that you created replicate it and then change it accordingly so you don't have to go step by step by step each and every time so that will be the end of this video and we will go to the next one see you there